This is the Duncan tub shower fixture set that I bought at uh, Lowe's from Made by Jacuzzi. The instructions were a little bit vague and since I've never done plumbing before of this magnitude, installing a tub shower, um, I really didn't have anything to go by. So watching stuff on YouTube, I kind of um, came up with my own scenario. So I've got put some stops on my, my pecs. So I have a way of controlling it. I'll eventually have a uh, like an access panel here where I can get to all the plumbing later. You can see I have two holes. Uh, that's a little hint for somebody. The first hole I drilled was according to the instructions in the pack. And then further on down the pack it said, or further in the, in the instructions it said to be sure that the, the tub outlet was eight inches below the valve. So because of the way my tub is laid out and you see the enclosure's got this little turn out at the bottom, it wouldn't go that low. So I ended up doing a new hole to raise it up a little bit further. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't measure twice before I cut. Uh, the old adage, measure twice, cut once. Definitely would go a long way here. So, but you can see I used the, uh, the PEX uh, 90 which attaches and then it screws to a board give a nice solid foundation there use the same thing up top for the shower head now as far as mounting the valve goes this was my big uh, confusion because the valve had no holes in it the holes that you see here are basically they're threaded and they're for this little plastic piece to go along the front of it which sandwiches the shower enclosure wall between here and the escutcheon going on the outside. So this is what I did to conquer that. I just got some straps, half inch straps, strapped it to a board, and then my board will get screwed into place right here like so. So that's my solution for the Jacuzzi Duncan tub shower fixture set. And here's my finished assembly. Pex all the way up to that connection. Sewer hooks to the valve here. Got my cold water, hot water supplies. Uh, yeah, I didn't have short screws to come through this. So after I got them screwed down, I just took a cut off wheel and cut those screws off. There's the spot for the tub. And the valve's installed. The thing I like about PEX is these things will just rotate. So, easy to work them. And there's the finished installation. Looks pretty nice. Of course, I'll take the shower head back off and finish the drywall up top. But nice looking assembly.